Hey guys, welcome back to my Formula 1 2020 my team carrier mode. We're now in Hungary for round number 13. You are with Tokyo Racing. So some of the admin works uh, we need to do, such as renewing the sponsor. Um, yeah. Uh, earlier this season we mentioned that we would like to um, to stay with the current sponsor, um, but um, we will try to change a little bit. I mean, um, we want to get some more money into the team. Uh, we're gonna focus heavily now on to. Uh, Developing the facilities. Um, as you can see, we got 12 million at the moment, and we will focus on some money to to get um, to improve on the marketing side. And yeah, from then on, we shall get more money. I think that is an investment that we should look forward into. And other than that. We're just gonna see our. Um, we're gonna fill in our uh, weekly activities um, before the race in Hungary. And we have to have a look at the moment we have fill in the chassis, which is the cable um, assembly, uh, the weight reduction. Yeah, we're just gonna renew that. I recommend we could go for something like this. Um, durability wise, uh, we are not. Um, gonna focus again at that moment, uh, at that area because oh, we just um, have a lot of uh, issues. And now we're gonna do the DRS, the minor upgrade um, on the aerodynamics, um, which if we rush. For the Hungarian Grand Prix, and yet we rushed it. So, let's have a look at the activity for this week. Let's go to the qualifying of the Hunger Grand Prix. So yeah, this is uh, considered as the the Monaco without walls. It's gonna be very very difficult for us um, because we, as, uh, as you know, are not good at doing that. But this is. Welcome to Budapest once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso, and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. 
It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here, with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Sainz, Alexander Albon, and Kvyat, Ricardo, Leclerc, Gasly, and Hirani, Matsushita, Ocon, Sebastian Vettel. They've taken a grid penalty, and Perez. Norris, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Kevin Magnussen. De Vries, Latifi, Stroll, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So, this will be one heck of a race. Uh, yeah, six laps of um, soft and then the rest will finish. It's then Kvyat from all this story. Oh, actually, it's science that has a broken fun wing. So, yeah, I thought we screwed Hamilton, but no, no. it was science who is going to appear. As now we can go into. Soon. And we are now three seconds behind the album. Another window has come in. Um, so, is it Ricardo? He was just uh, behind me. Um, yeah. It was unlucky. I'm not sure what happened. Because it has emerged. As Gasly trying to battle, as we try to block him from uh, us or the takers, as we make it very, very difficult for him. But still, Gasly, you know, at least now, uh, is in a silent. But look at that Kimi and Petri still holding on. I 
like some they can't overtake Gasly. I mean giving it stupid time for us. Gasly is right behind us. Happy if he can pip us in speed lane, but we managed to go in point at second. It is very fast. So Hamilton is in front of us, but Hamilton has gone into the pit. Uh, who is this? Uh, it's Matsushida. He just got outside just in front of us, but we managed to go around the outside and because we have the momentum. Let's have a look at this uh, from Matsushida point of view. We now have engaged quite a bit of battle now with him, which is good to see. So now there's another car will be going on and it's Charles Leclerc. So shall we do the same thing like we did to Matsushita? Oh! It's a very, very aggressive but We managed to get into the inside. You've taken some minor damage. Yes! Kvyat, challenger. He's quite um, lonely there in P3. P1, P2 is uh, far from him, and P4 is also. Look, he's like 22 seconds in front of Matsushima. As we have a look at our gamut, 79% now. This stage. Just defend like hell, like crazy, as I usually be as a crazy driver. So, uh, I lock the club and then Ricardo hit him from behind, but luckily, no damages. Uh, oh, like, well, it's the last lap, so I might use it for uh, trying to get the fastest lap. So, we have quite a number of money. To get um, so that we could get you know, the fastest lap, but we are not fast enough. Uh, as we all ran up the 
grass again and almost hit the cloud again. So I just need I have nothing I can't I was missing the car so that it didn't broke. P5, P4 and 5 for our team as we bang in some points to the team yeah this guy doesn't deserve to travel today actually maybe we'll see she so then. another fantastic victory for Red Bull today so Anthony what made the difference out there today I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament they were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble red bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them they do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win Makes us a very very enjoyable there and congrats to Tibet Via to to be in the podium in P3. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. Well the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talents out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Hirani. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times. So I don't think anyone else did a better job today. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. So Verstappen has um, shortened or reduced the cap. He's becoming better now after we, after we beat him in the rival. And we're still P3 in the Constructor Championship. So, oh, we're almost to level 15. Once we reach, when we reach level 15 for personal, we can get um, to unlock the perks. So, not a lot of money getting getting in into the team this week, but nevertheless, a good point scored from both me and Masushi. So guys, we have 16 million now for us to spend on the marketing. And guys, that's it. Thank you for watching this episode. Bye-bye.